Hi everyone, this video is about the empirical research summary assignment. So you'll notice here we have uh, assignment details, the rubric, a sample, a video link, and you'll also have submission links. So if we look at the assignment details, okay, here's the document that got pulled up. This summary is worth 50 points. You need to find an article related to the field of child psychology and development. I recommend going through our textbook and seeing the different chapters, the different content that will be reviewed. Um, and then um, you will read that article. You will look at the important information. And what's important is it must be a study. A study has very important sections like a method section where they talk about participants and measures. So I have a video on Blackboard that talks about the difference between a primary or empirical study versus a secondary article that would not be what you're looking for for this assignment. So again, there's more information on our library website, but there'll also be some videos for you on Blackboard. If you want my feedback, please submit this as a Word document so I can provide uh, track changes and give you some comments. Now, after you read your article, you're gonna write a three to four page article summary. The first thing you'll start with is an APA title page using APA headers and page numbers. So make sure to review the APA tutorials if you're unfamiliar with APA. Your first paragraph will talk about the stated purpose of the article that you're reviewing. What is this article about? Who did they study? Why are they studying them? So what is their purpose? Now you might wanna also include in that same paragraph what theoretical model uh, could be used to support this research. So I want you to find some kind of connection between a theory discussed in our textbook and the article that you chose. Attachment theory, behaviorism, anything where you can find that connection between theory and the article you chose related to child development. After that, you're gonna give us a little background information about this topic. And you would find this in the lit review or the introduction or the first few pages of the article. What research was already done on this topic? What other studies have been done? And again, each of these should be about a paragraph. Then you're gonna detail who was in the study. Who were the participants? Where did they come from? What was their age? What was their educational background? Measures, what instruments did they use? Did they use um, uh, an audio recording? Did they give them a survey? Did they use observation? So you're gonna detail for me what was being assessed. How were they going to get their data? After that, you'll see a discussion section in your article. And I'd like you to share with me what are some of the most important results. So after the method section, you'll notice there's a results section. You can skim that for the data, but you'll want to go to the discussion section or the conclusion to see the explanation of that data. What did they find out? Was their hypothesis correct? What you'll also want to conclude is, did the information appear to be valid? Would this study be able to be replicated with another group of students or with other families? Now, be sure to use APA formatting all throughout the paper. You should be citing every single paragraph because every single paragraph is taking information from the article. If you use direct quotes, you need to provide the page number in your citation. If not, you can just paraphrase the information. On your last page, you would have a separate reference page, cite your article in APA formatting, and then I have another link for you to upload not only your assignment, but you'll also upload the article and the rubric, self-grading yourself, to a separate link. Do not submit the assignment to the same link as the rubric and the article because it's going to go through SafeAssign and it'll mess up your uh, report if you do it that way. 
Now here is the rubric. You are graded on the purpose that you stated about the article, what theory it's connected to, what background information was already done by other studies, what was covered in their study, participants, measures, etc. The overall discussion and explanation of what was found in their study. Overall language use and format, was it written in paragraph format and complete sentences, and did it use APA? So now let's go back to Blackboard. So again, here is the assignment we just covered and the rubric. Here is a sample if you want to see a review of an article. So this student, again, keeping their information confidential, they read an article by O'Connor and McCartney. They talked about the goal of what they were examining, the purpose. And then here's just a sample again. It's in paragraph format, constantly has citations, but it reviews the entire article. Again, this student went above and beyond, pages after pages. Yours is expected to be about three to four pages in length. So I'll also make sure this is updated. I'm not sure why it's not showing here, but so you can make sure that you're finding a study rather than just a review article. And then here is my tutorial back from 2018 when the library had some updates on how to find an article. So please click here and you'll be uh, taken uh, through a, a review of how our library works and how to find an article that would work for this assignment. Now, underneath that will also be, sorry, that's not updated, but a link for you to submit the assignment. And again, it's not going to be due in October, but another link for you to submit the rubric and the article. So hopefully this gave you a lot of great information about the empirical assignment. Again, please feel free to email me. You can email me the article if you're wondering if it's uh, the correct type of article, but you want to make sure that you're finding an empirical primary study that has a method section and reviews a study done on children and or families. Thank you. Email me with any questions.